Hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo. We're out at the range with our Polymer 80 with our new slide build. Uh, this is five yards. These will be the first rounds down range. Here we go. We're checking point of aim, point of impact also. I'll be, I'll be aiming center mass. Center mass bullseye. We'll see where we impact. complete no problems no issues let's go down range and look at our uh, see what kind of group we got all right second series polymer 80 7.5 yards Glock 17 mag here we go uh, aim point this time is going to be uh, top eight ring number eight Round's complete. All right, Palmer 80, 10 yards. Here we go. Nine ring. Nine on the nine ring. Here we go. Oh, we got a malfunction. complete one failure to feed 10 yards 25 rounds center mass complete. Final 15 rounds. 14 yards. Final 15 rounds. 14 yards. We're aiming for seven top ring. Number seven top ring. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. Rounds complete. Hey, this is Toto Bravo. We had three failures to feed uh, during that, that whole uh, range shoot there. And uh, it's either I didn't lube the, the slide well enough, being it's a brand new slide, but I don't, I don't think that's the issue. I did put a little lube on there, but not a lot, but perhaps it needs broken in. But I think, more importantly, failure to feed could be contributed to the aluminum cased 
ammunition. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to do 17 rounds with something of a little better quality, the uh, cellar and, and bellet uh, brass ammunition. So we're going to do 17 rounds of that and see if we can get any type of malfunction. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. And we've got our brass ammunition, cellar and bellet. We're going to uh, see if we can get any failures to feed out of that. See if we can narrow it down to the aluminum uh, cased ammunition. So here we go. Rounds complete, no problems. Let's do one more mag of that good ammunition. All right, this will be our final series. Uh, 15 more rounds using the brass ammunition. We'll do uh, a cadence fire, and maybe the last couple rounds we'll rapid fire. So uh, here we go. All rounds complete. So, uh, kind of thinking that might have been the uh, aluminum cased ammunition. All right, hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo, and we're going to wrap it up for the day. Now, what we did was those last two series we used brass ammunition. We had three failures to feed with the aluminum cased ammunition. I had no failures to feed with the brass ammunition. So, I'm going to attribute my failures to the ammunition. You know, obviously, it was a cheaper ammunition. And uh, I did notice another thing, uh, that it's never happened with this Polymer 80 slide before, I'm sorry, something that didn't happen with this Polymer 80 lower before with the other Brownell slide, the heavier Brownell slide. Uh, if you look here, I noticed that I've got a pin, one of my pins is walking out. So, I never had that happen before with hundreds of rounds on the other Polymer 80. Uh, the same polymer 80 lower married up with the heavier Brownell slide. This slide is obviously lighter with the uh, RMR cut in the in the window. And I don't know. I'm not a, you know, I'm not an expert, so I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. I can only share my experiences with you, and the only thing I can contribute that to is the difference in this slide. So uh, I'm gonna reseat that pin, and uh, I'm thinking that I may have to take this slide, put it on my Gen 3. Clock OEM lower, put the old slide, the old Brownell slide back on here, and then do a comparative shoot as uh, similar to today and see if I can get the pin to walk at. Uh, maybe with the increased velocity of the slide, it's affecting some of these things here. I don't know. But I'll contribute the failures to the, uh, to the brass case, or I'm sorry, to the aluminum cased ammunition. Uh, it was a fun shoot. Obviously, you always learn something when you come out, especially when you're when you're working with some new stuff that you've just built. So this is Toe 2 Bravo. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until I see you at the range again, thanks for watching.